And welcome back to my channel, everybody. This is your boy, Flyling Guy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we are here today in the uh, CRJ. We are back in the Caribbean, and as promised a couple of videos ago, um, I stated that we'd come back to Guadeloupe, and uh, we do a flight from there, from the actual... Uh, terminal that was uh, recreated since <laughs> I ended up parking on the wrong side last time. So here we are once again. Let's just come outside. And as you can see, uh, this is the terminal that was created. Um, I don't quite, I don't remember the name of the developer, but it'll be in the description box below. And uh, he's actually done a really, really good job of just recreating the um, entire terminal here at, uh, I don't know how to quite pronounce this, uh, Pointe Peter. Or I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. It seems like French. <laughs> so uh, here in Guadeloupe. But I looked at pictures and this is a pretty accurate representation of what the terminal looks like. Um, so... Yeah, man, this is looks awesome. Let's come on the other side. Oh, not much going on over here. <laughs> but, uh, here's the parking lot. It's full of trees. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, outside of that, I mean, it looks, it looks really, really good. So. Here we are right now, just getting uh, serviced. Um, looks like the baggage has just finished loading, which is awesome. And so we're gonna get ready to he head out of here. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the jetway to connect like directly to the plane. Don't know what's going on there, but you know, whatever it is, what it is. So we are heading over to uh, Guyana today. Uh, Georgetown, Guyana to be specific. Um, and fun fact, I didn't realize until, like, well not just recently, but I never knew, I did, up to the, the point I found out, I didn't realize that Guyana is actually in the, in South America. I always thought it was just an island in the Caribbean. Um, but then I, I, I looked it up one day and I was like, well man, it's actually a part of uh, South America. Is this is Guyana here. So this is where we'll be flying today. Before we've flown to Trinidad, um, Grenada, we've pretty much like touched a bunch of these islands um, on the way up, but we haven't come down this far. So we're going to head down to Guyana today. The flight is around, I believe, two hours, close to it. Um, let's just head over to the, uh, head over here, and I don't know exactly where to look, uh, yeah, I, I don't remember where to look inside here, but, um, for sure, the, the 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 flight plan is around two hours, if memory serves me right. Um, in status, I don't know. I never know. I don't know where to go. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see how things we'll see how things go. Um, but the plane is pretty much uh, loaded up and ready to go now so we're going to continue our final preparations and then we will head out <coughs> sorry about that all right so let's see what haven't i done yet the apu can come on We've already turned on all of our hydraulics. 
Uh, let me set our... What is it? Gonna set our landing elevation. And I'm not gonna make the mistake of keeping these pop-up windows uh, out. That really messed us up. Well, it's messed up a couple of my, my recordings, so... Um, I'm just gonna make sure to just use it as I need it now and then just pop it back down. Um, so what is the landing elevation in... It is 96 feet. So 100 will do. Alright. APU started, it sound like it started. Our air conditioning is on. Cool. Alright, I think I have pretty much everything else set up. So, what we'll do is we will close up since the luggage is done. <coughs> so, these doors which are open can close. I'm going to close the main door. Captain, the cabin is secure. All passengers are aboard. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the captain and crew, welcome aboard this flight. We hope you enjoy flying with us. Before takeoff, we would like to encourage all passengers to watch our cabin crew display the safety features of the aircraft. Alright. <clears throat> Tug and our ground power is disconnecting. Yeah, the position of the plane is a little too far away from the, well, from this jet bay. So I think that's what caused the issue with it not connecting. All right, we have removed our gromp. Oh, what the heck! Why is it back again? That's weird. Okay. Alright, so that's out the way. <coughs> APU is started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just turn the fuel pumps on now. And beacon can come on. And we will officially start our pushback. Remove the chocks. And the pushback, here we go. Reverse. Always forget to turn off the parking brake. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be departing runway 12 here in uh, Guadalupe. So, I'm just gonna bring up the map over here so I can see which way we're going. Boom. We look outside as well. How does this happen? Alright, so... I have the map up here. And we could stop the tug. Okay, runway 12 is going to be off to our left. And we will take... We'll have to go onto the actual runway, taxi up, and then... Uh, turn around and take off. Okay. So now that we are up and going, uh, we can go ahead and start the right engine. I'm just waiting for this to reach uh, 20%.
and fuel and idle. Alright, so I think I'm getting the hang again this plane started and off the ground. <laughs> Flying it is still a little on the iffy side, but um, I'm getting more comfortable each time. Ladies and gentlemen, please pay attention as we display the safety features and procedures of the aircraft in case of an emergency. During an emergency, please remain in your seats with your seatbelts fastened and your seats in the upright position. Left engine start. So the left engine has started and is looking good. Cool. Alright, so both engines are running and stabilized. APU can come off and we can close the APU door. Now actually what I've forgotten to do, which I seem to always forget to do, is get our flight director on. Today we'll be doing a step climb, so we'll be going up to 23,000 first and when we reach the, the FOF waypoint or VOR which is um, where Martinique is we will go up to 39,000 alright okay that is in place um, I'm gonna dial in the heading of 116. That's our runway heading. Let's just get that in. Now, the first thing we could do is a heading hold when we turn on the autopilot. Okay. So I think that's good to go. Um. Turn on the fuel the cro the fuel cross flow override, I think that's what that's called. And let's see. TCAS. I'm still trying to figure this out. Apparently all this time I have not had the TCAS on. Uh And I think it's something to do, I heard it's something to do with the, like, transponder, like that has to be on. And it's kind of bugging me. Um, because I'm still not sure how to turn it on yet. Ah, there you go. So is this. Okay. Okay. There we go. And now let's change the T early. 
awesome learning things every day all right cool so that is also done so i think we are pretty much ready to go all right so taxi lights on and we'll make the left turn There's a couple of things I forgot as well. I think it's the window heat and stuff. Which is... I'll just do this real quick. Don't crash into anything. And that, that. Okay, it's all gone. All right. One thing man, I'm so used to just hopping in the plane and being ready to go <laughs> super fast. Uh, it was, it's always frustrating how long it takes to get the plane, this plane up and running. And this is probably not even the most complicated of the jets, you know what I mean? I did a good job with the, this airport here in Guadalupe. Let me just double check that there's no traffic coming or come out on the runway. Don't see anything, nothing right, nothing left. Okay. I'm also checking because we have about 6,000 feet worth of runway to to travel. So our rotate speed today, I believe, is 128. Um, we're a little bit on the, the heavy side. Let's see. Yeah, 128. So we're a little bit on the heavy side today, so that's why we need to uh, go a little faster. Normally our rotate speed is around 125 or maybe a little less. But this is a super long runway, so we maybe have more than enough more than enough runway to take off. It's not an issue at all. See if we can pull this off. Ooh, a little wide on that turn. That's all right, there. Okay. All right, let's get in the middle. All right, tons of runway ahead of us. 
Landing lights can come on. Strobes on. And some armor thrust reverses. Just gonna check one thing over here. I think we're good to go. Let's get out of here. Toga. Thrust. Just trying to pitch the nose down a little bit. Now let's get the flaps up. Of course. I need to just pay attention. the autopilot heading mode got a 240 speed mode on and our arm nav mode as well Alright, so as usual, did a good job of botching that takeoff. <laughs> uh, I wish it was a way for me to just enjoy the the outside, like as I'm as I'm taking off. You know what I mean? So there's Guadalupe, liking that. View of the the shoreline. All right. About to cross ten thousand feet, and uh, we could turn all the lights off at that point. And we could also accelerate to 290 knots. Ten thousand feet. The 
Let's go off. Let's go off. Manual cross feed could come off as well. And it also go up to 290 knots as well. And we've also crossed our transition altitude, so just gotta set that. Alrighty, folks. So, once again, hoping everyone uh, is having a great day today. If if, uh, well, this video is coming out a few, it's going to come out a few days. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now serving sandwiches. Yeah, it's going to come out actually quite a few days after uh, July 1st. So, it's not common knowledge that I, I pre-record a lot of my videos. So, um, well, when you guys do see this, uh, to all my Canadians out there, uh, happy Canada Day, happy belated Canada Day, um, and to all of my American viewers out there, hopefully they'll be, uh, they'll be having a good, uh, well, actually July 4th, yeah, it'll probably be after that as well, so <laughs> also happy July 4th to, uh, the American viewers. So, if you guys hit up in the comments section below, let me know when, like, uh, yours independence is. I know I have a good amount of viewers from the Caribbean as well, which rocks, because that's how my channel really started. That was the whole point of it. So, um, I'd love to know when Independence Day is for for those of you in the Caribbean who are watching. coming up and over the clouds um, as I stated we're doing a step climb today so um, for the step climb when we reach the uh, FOF waypoint that's when we'll just that's when we'll climb to um, that's when we'll climb to 39,000. So, just look around the legs. So, basically, the next waypoint will we'll continue to climb. So, I'm just going to control my speed as we level off. Because we are, we are clocking it right now. But I just want to make sure that we don't overspeed. So right now we are at... Actually, no. Sorry. We're 10 nautical miles to this DOM waypoint. Which is actually the end of the uh, departure. So we are flying a uh, departure out of Guadeloupe. So this is the end of the departure, and then between this waypoint and this waypoint, um, we have to maintain 23,000 feet before we descend to 39,000 at the next waypoint. So also, uh, as you guys could see, so let me just take this screenshot real quick. All 
Okay. Sorry, I just took this the, took the screenshot, but yeah. So as you guys can see, I'm flying um, Air Aruba. Um, I'd actually really love to fly another Caribbean airline, but right now I don't really see any liveries out there available that represent any other Caribbean airline. So this is <laughs> pretty much the only one that I'm going to be flying for now. Um, if I had the A32NX, so if I knew how to fly it, let's put it that way, um, I'll probably be, I think there's a Caribbean Airlines livery out for that, although that's not really like true to reality, uh, that'll make a little more sense to fly. But uh, this we have to do, I mean what's really important right now is that we are flying, getting up and getting down the ground safely. A, a little bit of realism also um, I don't know how clear the weather is going to be um, right now there is a as of today um, there is a hurricane kind of in the area um, it's right now it's it's I think it's kind of far away from from uh, Guyana but it's sort of in it was in the area so I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of like, cloud cover effect in it but as far as I saw from the weather in Guyana today um, it's VFR conditions the winds are fairly light and there's not much cloud cover either so um, we should be good to go We are going to be doing the RNAV approach into Guyana today. Uh, RNAV runway 24, and as usual, um, when I start my descent, we will go over the the flight plan. Okay. So we are coming up on the FOF waypoint here. That's the next one up. Um, still got a little ways to go, about 40 nautical miles. But what I'm going to do in preparation is just set our altitude to 39,000. And then I'm going to monitor that speed like a hawk. Because I remember a previous flight that we did, um, the plane pretty much just lost a lot of speed and just dropped out the sky. And pretty much spent the rest of the flight trying to maintain <laughs> maintain the, the or some kind of control. So I don't want that to happen today. Um, so we shall see how it goes. But still we have, since we still have a little ways to go folks, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to hop off and uh, I'll come back when we are uh, starting our descent into Guyana. Um, I just don't want to kind of bore you guys by sitting here <laughs> waiting to, to climb. So I'll hit you guys when we get back. As usual, we'll go over the approach and um, hopefully we will have a smooth landing in Guyana so I'm excited to see uh, how things look over there all right so this is your boy flying guy I'll be back and ladies and gentlemen welcome back uh, we have started our descent into Guyana uh, right now we should be cruising past about 16 15 thousand feet or something like that or close to it um, let's go ahead and let's take, take a quick look at our approach and we'll come up to the cockpit. So we're going to be doing the runway 24 RNAV approach right now and we're going to be approaching from Q2 
scallop right now we're descending down to 4,000 feet and then we're basically going to come to bow lap and make the turn uh, onto final something like this normally you'd do a procedure turn you know here on this channel we don't really be dealing in procedure turns like that um, but it says only when instructed by the ATC which we're not doing right now anyway so yeah, we'll be turning on to 241 and descending down to I believe it is 1800 uh, yes and yeah we'll be going in for landing just got an ice warning let's go ahead and just uh, get that turned on came through the clouds just now, that's why. Um, as far as I know, I don't think we're going to have any speed restrictions, but I'm just going to try to manage my speed now. We're doing about uh, 230 knots. Probably speed up just a little bit. Not exactly that. Not not that ex it exactly matters because like we have to it's pretty much a four thousand foot hold here anyway. So I mean, to be honest, the slower we're going, the better it is for us. But uh, I had an issue with the top of descent because I ended, I changed the the cruise altitude kind of midway through because we had a step climb that kind of messed up the top of this top of descent but luckily I mean VNAV is working amazingly so I was able to correct the altitudes below and just uh, hit VNAV and I was ready to stop my descent and everything's worked fine it's it's been following the way the uh, waypoints and altitude restrictions and we are doing awesome right now so happy about that overall it's been a really good flight uh, we had no issues whatsoever pretty much like it's just uh, we've pretty much just been flying enjoying life <laughs> and um, absolutely no turbulence, nothing like that. And I'm hoping for an equally smooth landing. I'm going to turn on the landing lights soon because we are nearing 10,000 feet. Um, our transition altitude today is 3,000 feet, so we won't be setting the altimeter until we get down there um, so that's actually that's after we cross this second waypoint probably when we get down to this one that will actually um, go ahead and set the local altimeter let's head over to uh, check the weather here in Guyana today so far we are looking at uh, winds out of 190 at 8 knots, uh, got decent visibility, 6 miles, um, altimeter is 299.04 or 1014, so pretty close to what we're seeing in the sim right now. Landing lights on. And well, we could put on the taxi lights as well. Um, yeah, pretty pretty good weather in Guyana. So right now between these two waypoints, we're, sp we're supposed to be holding at, uh, well, the restrictions are both 4,000 feet, and then we're going to be heading down to 3,000 feet. 
Um, and I think when we get to 3,000, that's when we're going to be making the turn on to final. I'm so glad that they introduced this VNAV feature because well, I think it's it's been there. I'm, I'm not too sure if it wasn't working or whatever before. But, I mean, for me, that's actually made descending and landing the plane actually like the almost easier than takeoff right now um, in terms of preparing for landing uh, we can go ahead and arm our reverse thrust going way too fast again if I was an on air would have been punished for that um, we're doing over 250 and it's below 10,000 feet now so this aircraft you really have to watch your speed you can't look away for like m more than a couple seconds otherwise you may find yourself very off profile or over the speed <coughs> so I'm gonna set speed bug down to 220 knots now, so at least I can visually see where we're at. Decision height today is 620 feet, that's already been set. And I'm going to put our landing speeds in now as well. VREF is 129 knots, so I'll do the usual, try to hold around 140 if possible. I never do, I always end up going way below that, <laughs> which is not good, uh, but that's fine. I also want to get start getting prepared for landing uh make sure we're we're configured or at least partly configured for landing before we turn on to final so um, once we pass this next waypoint i think i'll start dropping a little bit of flaps and bring our speed down to about 180. Once we cross this next waypoint as well, we will um, set our the local altimeter here. Shouldn't really make much of a difference as far as the altimeter is concerned. Flying over the a lot of forest here. Um, if anyone knows anything about uh, Guyana, there is like a lot of uh, rainforest. Um, so, that's what we're seeing, a lot of forest, a lot of forest, so, Now we are turning heading more towards final now. Um, gonna bring out that next notch of flaps. Gonna go ahead and arm approach mode as well. We are going down to eighteen hundred.
So 1800 is... That should be where we capture the glide path if we get down there. Airport is straight ahead. Right there. I have no idea what I'm aiming for. Looks like we have captured the glide path though. And we're just slowly descending. So now I just pretty much got a speed manage. The runway. This is the runway here. This looks like a taxiway. And let me bring up the airport map as well. Okay. Yeah. So the terminal. Uh, looks like the terminal is on the right. Gonna disconnect. It's actually started dropping below the below our <laughs> V ref as expected. Gonna go gear down. Good to go for landing, I believe. Just gonna trim out a little bit. There we go. I didn't realize the airport was whew, pretty much out there. According to the path, these are actually high. Minimums. Continuing. Sink rate, 500. Minimums. 400. Three Sink rate. Sink rate, 200. Sink rate, 100, 50, 40, 30, 20. is off. Manual brakes. Alright. I 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Guyana. All right. The weather here is, as I mentioned, uh, balmy 29 degrees C. Party cloudy. I like it. Cool. So we're going to start the APU. And landing lights off. Stirrups could come off. Let's clean up the old flaps. I'm going the right way. Yep, I am. Should be crossing runway 11 now, runway 29. And the terminal is off to our right. Sorry, it's off to our left, not our right. I don't know why those are still up. Yeah, that's weird. They normally drop down by themselves. Hey, look, another Air Aruba is in. Awesome. Okay, so we should have a marshal here on the left because it looks like everything is set up for us to have a marshal. Yep. Very good. These will come off. Beacons off. And cut the engines, starting with the right side. So, hope you guys enjoyed that flight. Um, landing, sorry, landing was a little interesting, uh, but we we're kind of able to rescue the, the descent rate just before it landed. So, ended up being a lot smoother than it could have been. Um, so, just bringing, just getting the luggage card here and everything, and. Uh, Gonna let the ground staff do their their thing. What's the camera like? There we go. Yeah, I've never been here, or I've never seen this airport before. So um, the terminal was a little smaller than I expected. 
but uh, it's cool. It's cool. Thank the marshal for kind of getting me on the center line, but not really. <laughs> Better than it normally would be. Um, but yeah, it's another flight in the Caribbean. You know me, quite enjoy it. And um, looking forward to a lot more flights uh, in the future. Thank you everyone who's supporting the channel. Um, and I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I see new subscribers coming on every day, so man, I'm just excited to see where things are going to go. In the meantime, uh, I will be back with another video soon, uh, so hope you guys are looking forward to that, because I am. Um, lots more adventures to come. This is your boy Flyland Guy saying, stay safe and stay fly. I'm out. Peace.